Hello everybody, my name is Pasta Obesity. Welcome back to another video of Crash Bandicoot. <laughs> this has not been exactly the greatest gameplay yet, or at all, and I'm sorry about that. The High Road, another example of why bridge levels are not hard. You're just not good at timing something, watch. Oh, hold on, yeah, this is, I forgot about this Easter egg. And plus, I'm talking mad egotistical for my level of skill right now. Let's be try. <laughs> what the f Come on, man. Oh my goodness. What's what's good, turtle? All right. The thing about this game is that you can actually just do this where you like you don't have to move, but like I have really bad at. That's the reason why I'm unsure. I'm being dead ass. The bridge levels are. I just I just I think I'm just losing my skill level because these were piss easy when I when I completed this game on the PS3. I miss when like um on the PS3 they just sold the uh retro games like for like five ten bucks. Now you have to do PS Plus Premium and shit. Just, what the fuck is this? I'm about to clip farm. <laughs> Somebody's mad! Watch me actually post that as a YouTube short. Uh, no, I, I shouldn't do that, actually. I would get f***ing flamed if I posted that. It's like when Jinxie uh, posted him, like, throwing a bottle cup. Like, what the f*** do... What the f*** do cats do? And then, like, he purposely spills the bottle. And like, oh, that's what they do. Like, shut the f*** up. Shut the f*** up. You're not funny anymore. Jinxie deadass fell off after, like, uh... What, who was the girl who broke up with him, Turtle? Yeah, like after he like uh, made that public, he cried on stream. That's when I knew that he was cooked. I feel like if I ever started streaming, I feel like I would clip farm on purpose. And then I would be like Kai Sinat and say that I'm not doing that. What the f***, guys? I think I'm just bad at video games. Okay, I've been meaning to talk about this a long time, but I don't want to stream. Because I suck ass at game. The way that I guess you would say my schedule works, even though in reality it's just like house rules because I'm a minor, you fucking creeps. I can't just like spend like seven hours streaming because, you know, I also have dogs. So I, I got to clean after them. I got to feed them. I can't just like be here and play like Mortal Kombat and Crash Bandicoot all day or s whatever the fuck I feel like playing. I mean, a lot of uh, teenagers before um, they've got famous, I, they did stream after school, but it was usually in short periods. And plus most of them were like single kids. They didn't have responsibilities. And I'm not suggesting that I have responsibilities because my responsibility is sucking fucking ass. Clip farmed. I talked so much about how this, how easy this level is. And then I'm just getting, I'm losing all of my lives. I'm, I'm, I'm getting humbled by a 28 year old video game. I mean, maybe there'll be a day where like, I can find a way to stream. I'm being honest with you guys. It might just be me just playing like Mortal Kombat trilogy or something. Cause the thing is, I don't play uh, freemium games. If you don't know what that means is that the games are free, but the items aren't like, I don't like uh, Fortnite, like basically like any big major online game from let's say like 2017 and onwards. I just don't find any real appeal in them. Not because they're cool or anything. Like there's a reason why Fortnite in, in Warzone are so popular and everybody else that I know plays it except for like my sister and me. But I don't know, man. Actually, I do know why. Liar, liar, plants for- When you play freemium games, there's items and sh that are simply unavailable due to the whole battle pass system, right? And the thing is, if Fortnite didn't have the battle pass system and was able to keep the license for all these characters, I would unironically play Fortnite. Dude, I want to be Peter Griffin. I want to be Solid Snake. I want to be Joker. I want to be Batman. I want to be Darth Vader. But the thing is, either they cost $10 if they're on the shop or Tough Luck should have played f***ing three years earlier. What the f- I'm an avid, uh, person, what's it called? Protester? Whatever the f*** it is. To ban the system of battle passes. Like, I get it, um, battle passes are meant to reward players for playing the game. I totally understand that, right? It's just like, you did everything I wanted you to, 
you did all the tasks you did like everything i wanted to right so like here's your reward you get like the the exclusive skin but i feel like that system is so outdated especially for people like me who just want to jump into a video game and just feel rewarded for playing the game i don't want to pay money so i have an incentive to play a video game you, you know what i mean the thing is um the reason i'm bringing this up is because my friend cyan he's been begging me forever to play fortnite with him even though I need to lock the f in, dude. Like, I always tell him that, like, my fker, no. I was in a Discord call with the homie Cyan. He showed off his, like, fing rare ass thousands of dollar Fortnite uh, inventory. And I was like, yo, that's cool. But then, like, the realization hit that <laughs> I will never be able to have that because I didn't play uh, Fortnite in fing 2019. What the f am I doing? Oh, uh, rope trick! Rope trick! <laughs> I cheated. If my mind doesn't fool me, you can just make this jump. Of course you can. This game is so f***ing clunky. I love it. If Epic, like, truly went in on, like, the No More Battle Pass skins, they reinstated all the licenses. They, uh, redid some of the models. Like, the Peter Griffin model's kind of ugly. The Goku model, the Goku Black model, the Vegeta model's kind of ugly. Some of the, um, JJK skins are a little ugly. Like, if, if they did sh like that and allowed me to just purchase them or earn them at my own will, like in Helldivers, I would unironically play Fortnite. The fact that I can't just have them by playing the game, I have to pay money to have the shit I want in my game. I'm sorry, but it just that just kills the fun for me. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I have a very bad, jealous, envious personality. I hate when motherfuckers have shit I don't have that I really want. So seeing them have like that, I don't know, man, it just kills it for me. I keep looking at myself, talking to myself. I'm like number one narcissist over here. Okay, I'm gonna shut up for a bit. I need to lock the f in, so yeah. I think that the older I'm getting, the more I'm losing skill in video games because I'm not like hyper playing them anymore. Because low key, I've been addicted to social media and making memes. I plan them relic this game. Why did I do that? Yeah, I'm a cheater. What about it? <laughs> well, who's, who's the black character from uh, SML Turtle? Cody's dad? Yeah, it, um, like when he says, um, sometimes you gotta put on a different pair of shoes. Yeah, I'm gonna be like that. Dude, low key, I have not watched SML since like 2019. The oh, the last thing I remember about SML was um when they got sued by Nintendo. And then like they made the fucking ugly ass puppets of, uh, of like with really shitty uh, hor um, original design. You know what's sad? A lot of SML fans are like 2017 and onwards because you know like hard to believe but kids in 2024 are no longer like born in like 2008 or something like eight-year-olds are born in 2016. I hate those fucking TikToks that deny like the passage of time and then make it corny like dude I cannot believe that these menus are 10 years old and it shows like the PS3 and Xbox 360 menus and it's like no these or 10 years old is ps4 like how hard is it to accept that time passes it tr it cannot be that hard to accept that time passes and yes it sucks not everybody wants to grow up i don't want to grow up i hate when motherfucking makes sh corny that's my big problem it ruins like the message behind it this is like this white tiktoker dude who makes videos like that every fucking day it was like what was 2023's anthem and it's like shut the f up seriously i'm getting too mad over shit that does not matter i need to chill out i think the problem is i got i got i maybe i've gone too used to the insane uh trilogies physics more because i'm trying to make these big jumps and, shit, and the problem is is that like it feels like i'm overshooting all of it I used to have such a big sense of pride being able to complete this with like no struggle mainly because i was just like i think it was uh it was like 20 from 2016 to like 2019 i couldn't name you a day besides when i like, went on like moral bay california where i didn't play video games i dead ass think i was on overdrive during that era because that's when i was creating the most video which by the way which i know i say i always created a lot of videos because i did create a lot of videos like i'm talking a lot of videos but the problem is i i deleted them if i'm being honest they were cringy I used to make a lot of Super Mario Logan reactions. I remember I reacted to a lot of SML back then. And that's what gave me a good majority of my subscriber base back in 2016, I believe. I was also reacting to a lot of, like, the new animations from video games at the time. Like, I watched... I think one of the... Yeah, I think one of the only remaining uploads I have of that is when I reacted to Cuphead. The Cuphead animation by Pymations back in 2017. And the thing is, those videos are long gone now. Maybe you could try 
internet archiving them and maybe to see if some of them are archived but i highly doubt it because i wasn't because i'm not big so i don't know why anybody would like archive my videos but if somebody does post it honestly two three four five six one huh skibbity skibbity riz riz left no that's i don't know what that means somebody explain what left pocket dog shit i have nothing means all right what i'm wondering is why the hell are there hogs in the middle of a bridge how do they survive do they eat the do they eat the remaining turtles oh it's actually when I stop talking and lock the f in, it's easy. F you, Crash. I mean, I wish, like, editing uh, software came in with um, AI censorship, so, like, I don't have to keep editing my videos, censoring myself all the f***ing time. And I know what you're gonna say, just stop cussing then, Vizzy Pop. And it's just like, I mean, yeah, you're, like, you're right, but I don't want to be, like, Nick A30 or something. Guys, this channel's family-friendly, and, and, like, some, like, white dude just starts talking about f kids this is the only problem i have with slippery climb it's these shits where you you where you basically gotta time yourself falling like that these slippery climb and stormy ascent levels have to be my favorite levels in the game without a doubt like i know that they're hard but i think that's what makes it fun because i like playing hard video games and plus the sense of um challenge that you get from these um things I, it makes it worth it to play the game honestly and plus like despite it being like very um aesthetically ugly because it's like it's all rainy it's dark it's gritty i think the stormy ascents and the slippery climbs have to be some of the best levels in the game like if you really know what you're doing it's really not hard it's just a lot of timing and precision which you know i like that stuff and i know that's not everybody's cup of tea and, and i know it just sounds like i'm trying to rage bait here because you know slippery climb and stormy center like the the dark souls of platformers i still cannot believe 2017 was saying that shit when the insane trilogy released that, that's just my thing though i think the hog levels are harder mainly because um they all suck and the hog is clunky to control now i think about it, i don't really like vehicle stages in crash bandicoot that much like i know like people love like the coco airplane levels man when i when i play crash bandicoot i'm just expecting some fucking tough ass platforming i'm not expecting to play madagascar carts dude mink go crash you fucking twerp checkpoints don't do shit in this game you do shit in other crash games and not crash 4 because crash 4 has insane uh perfect relics which by the way a uh, master class of video game design let's just make crash 4 more painful to complete because it. I, I don't i don't have like a family to see hey lab ass get the fuck out to this day i still don't know why they're called lab ass this one gives you the red gem which thank god actually not thank god because the insane trilogy I do i still get my aku what the fuck? because if you want to complete crash one they have to perfect this level feels so bad for them oh fuck. i rem i already fucked up Oh no, don't make me replay the level for this. Mm. The thing is about the PS1 version of Crash 1, you don't need those brown stairs in the beginning because Crash jumps so high and he's so clunky and floaty that you kind of just don't need that. Oh, f me dude not like that i don't want the banuka boy penis oh jesus and another thing people don't mention dude the ps1's version of the slippery climb ost shit is so stressful man insane trilogy i love the insane trilogy they did ruin some of the songs not gonna lie all right Shut up! Okay, I'm just gonna complete the level and hope that doesn't count. <laughs> Why am I so anxious? That's why I'm anxious. Oh, you see, oh. What is crap? What what brand do, is he wearing right now? He he would wear Pumas. Here we go. Crash, Bandy, Banda Boy Man. Oh no! This is why teenagers kill themselves. This one's tough to time. Who? All right. You f off. All right. Okay. Please tell me that the Brio level doesn't count towards the crate. It doesn't. 
I thought it did. Don't you ever just like wish that there was like a modern AAA title that like had the style of PS1 graphics? And not like the bullshit excuse for PS1 graphics where it's just like blocky with those. I'm talking about like authentic PS1 looking gra- Does this one have a- No, that's fumbling in the dark. Like authentic PS1 sounding uh, looking graphics like in Crash or in Metal Gear Solid 2 or Silent Hill. Because I don't know about you guys, but I love the PS1 um, aesthetic with all the glitchy f***ing vertex clipping polygons. I don't know, it just looks very aesthetically pleasing to me. This song is especially fire in the Insane Trilogy. Um, I think this one's a gem level. I'm not sure, actually. Ooh, alright. No, no, please come back. Come back, alright. Oh, yeah. That wasn't a good idea, actually. That means I really gotta rush this now. Oh, yep, this is a gem level. I f***ing knew it. Yeah, let's get out of here, Crash. Boom, boom. Thank you. No, f*** you. Oh my god, I thought I was gonna lose my Aku there. Oh yeah, this is another one of the Brio things. I cannot f*** this one up either. Oh, f*** my god. Oh, it's this sh God, it's so scary. Oh yeah, the first gem path, unless you don't go back. Stop giving me up. Wait, I can just wait here actually, hold on. Oh my God, that's awesome. Oh my God, the game. Uh, uh. Oh my God, I hate this sh so much. Let's go crash. Uno, dos, trace. Let's keep going. Oh my God, this sh Oh my fucking God. What's with the stress levels? Mm. Boom, boom. <laughs> this is such a long level, Jesus. You legit can't f up on this. Oh, that sucks. Oh, I do not like this. 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 You mu- I'm good. I'm perfectly fine here. Don't follow me, you c What do we got to do, do? Let's go. I'm looking at myself being shocked at myself. Jesus Christ, man. What the fuck? Mm. Mm. Fucking God. Fuck shit, man. This is some atmospheric ass music. Mm. Mm. Oh! Forgot about the TNT. One, two, fuck you, bitch. There we go. No. <laughs> Play the game. Stop trying to rush it. Okay, don't jump, you fucking twat. Oh my god. Bend boy, Banuka san. Let's fucking get it, man. Yeah! Uh. Fucking god, this level's long. Who decided to make this level so excruciatingly long? There's the other cortex. That's <laughs> so cryptic. Oh my god. Like, you don't realize that some of these game secrets are a little bullshit? Like, obviously, I do remember them because I played this game so much, but like, still, some of this shit is low key cryptic as fuck. What is that pose? Oh, here's a little fun fact about this. Um, for some reason, this the bonus level music is changing the Japanese version because people complained that it sounded too nostalgic. What the f does that even mean? What what does a nostalgic sounding song sound like to the Japanese? Oh my god. No, my oh my god, my oh hey I lost my Aku, man.
Oh my god. Fucking wow. I gotta do this shit now. I'm trying to remember if like if it's a hidden crate in here somewhere. <gasps> I keep forgetting about that. Here. What? Am I really not remembering something? Wait, that was perfect? But I didn't get the key though. Let's go. Took a fucking bit. All right, here we go. These ones are requiring because you do need the key. I gotta do some, some brain level math here, man. Mm. Go! Let's go. Give me the key. Prick. Get me out of here. Finally, Jesus Christ.